Guten Tag. Heute diskutieren wir Modul 5, Lektion 3. Was hast du für deine Gesundheit getan? It's again a question. So, this chapter starts with a question and this is the some different kind of questions. Okay. So, this question is in perfect form. Perfect form that means the past form. Yeah. Or we can say uh, present perfect form. Okay. In German. So, the word getan is the verb tun. Yeah. And this is the perfect form of verb getan. Yeah. Like in the last chapter, we had the question. Okay. Was. Uh, that was tust okay was tust do für deine Gesundheit okay and this is the perfect form of that question so was hast du für deine Gesundheit getan so that means in this chapter we will learn how to form a simple sentence in perfect sentence and also the perfect form of verb okay and one more thing this is a, a little bit long chapter okay so it has so many topics so i have decided i have just divided this chapter in two parts okay so in this video we will have half of this chapter and then in the next video you are having the rest of the portions okay so now we start with the chapter yeah so this chapter has also number eins so like mark then test von lexion zwei noch einmal that means do the test of lexion zwei so listen to once again, quotes an, yeah. So just cross it. So the question is: Was hast du letzte Woche für deine Gesundheit getan? So here, the word letzte Woche, letzte Woche, that means last week. So this shows, okay, this is showing that we are talking about something which is already happens, yeah. So, so it is that means the perfect form gives the sense of past tense. Okay, I'm saying sense of past tense. It's not the past tense, but it gives the sense of past tense. Yeah, the thing like when we use perfect form that shows that the work is finished just now. Yeah, or recently. Okay, so was has to let's the work of your dina gesundheit keta. That means what you have done last week for your health. Then these all questions are in perfect form. Okay, and these all are. Ja, nein, Frage. So as we know that for the ja, nein, Frage, we write the verb at the first position. Okay. So here we are having all the verbs at the first position. Okay. So like here, has du Sport getrieben? Okay. So what was the basic verb is? Basic verb is treiben. And this one is a perfect form. Hat getrieben. Okay. Then again, so has du Sport getrieben? That means okay have you uh, used have you do sports okay have you done sports uh, sports activities or like have you played yeah then how do obst und gemüse gegessen so have you ate okay oh fruits and gemüse then how do kind of pomes with ketchup gegessen so have you not ate uh, pomes that means uh, french fries with ketchup then essen then gegessen then has do zwei Gläser Milch getrunken? So have you uh, drunk, drink uh, two glass of milk? Then so then has do keine Cola getrunken? So have you not drunk Cola? Then has do weniger als zwei Stunden pro Tag am Computer gespielt? So have you less than two hours every day played on the computer? Then has do weniger als eine Stunde am Tag fern gesehen? So have you have you watched less than one hour a day? Okay, television. Then, bis du for act uhr aufgestanden. So, have you woke up before eight o'clock? Then, bis du rad gefahren. So, have you cycled? Yeah. Then, uh, bis du eine Stunde zu Fuß gegangen. So, have you walked for an hour? Yeah, for an hour. Okay, so then you have to just write down yes or no. Okay, so for ya yeah, you have 10 points for 9 you will have null point yeah then again we are having okay so basically this these questions are very important yeah 
these all questions are in perfect form so what i suggest you just write down these all questions in your notebook and then circle this one asked and then this one get three will <coughs> and surely one then has to then again here has and then get guess in then has to then has on get guess in yeah so this this is the basically perfect form of the verb s in here the verb triben verb trinken then here spielen and this one is here fan sein so fan gesehen then has okay and then bist du auf gestanden so auf stehen and then here fahren so gefahren gegangen so gehen is gegangen so basically in perfect form uh, we what we do when we change a verb in a perfect form then in a perfect form verb or verb is having basically a, a one helping verb we can say yeah the extra verb so this extra verb comes at the second position so we can say this helping verb comes at the second position and the perfect form of the verb always comes at the end okay and one more thing the verb which comes at second position that means the helping verb it conjugates according to subject okay so the verb which comes at second position that conjugates according to subjects like do hast if we are having here like yeah has do yeah then if i have to say ich habe okay so like has do sport getrieben then ja ich habe sport getrieben so ja ich habe sport getrieben so habe that conjugates according to ich and then getrieben comes at the end of the sentence so ja ich habe sport getrieben so in this same way yeah so we will discuss it uh, in this chapter also yeah then did you know so almost all germans have a health insurance that takes care of their medical expenses for an illness you visit a doctor and pay a nominal charge you can buy the medicines at a pharmacy for a nominal cost only with a doctor's receipt prescriptions however some drugs like aspirin can be bought over the counter without a prescription on full payment okay foreign prescriptions are not accepted which medicines are available without a prescription in your countries okay so this is the some information about uh, germany then wie viele punkte hast du okay when you get 90 then so 90 bis uh, 90 bis 100 punkte so do bist top fit so do bist top fit that means you are super fit then zips is bist 90 punkte do bist fit mach so weiter okay so you are fit then do it further yeah then films is bist zips is punkte es geht so it's okay then weniger als 50 punkte oh god yeah so that means oh god oh god oh god so that means oh my god that means you are having some problem then here lis on ergenza dabai again okay the bow steiners just read and then fill up the uh, boxes or we can say this complete the sentences yeah so just you have to write down all the questions here once again okay and then be careful this verb comes at the first position because it's a ja nein frage and this one comes always at the end that means this is the perfect form of verb which comes always at the end in the sentence yeah then next yeah so here grammatic we will go through the grammatic so that's perfect so that's perfect that give the sense of like gestern for gestern let's to woche so gestern is a yesterday for gestern day before yesterday and let's to woche is last week that means the perfect form of the verb which always give the sense of past okay like we are having some questions like has du tennis gespielt okay so that means has du letzte woche sport getrieben that means have you done something in past like have you done okay so you have finished this one or the bist du gestern rad gefahren okay so like have you or like are you okay uh, okay uh, cycled yesterday then we are having okay one more thing so sometimes we are having hast sometimes having wished so that means when we can when we change a verb in a perfect form that means it conjugates only with two helping verbs like haben oder sein okay so that's why your hast oder bist so then uh, number 3 tina ist top fit 
जी ईस्ट गेजुंड सो जी ईस्ट गेजुंड त्राइप्ट स्पोर्ट उन फेट ये दिन टाग रात दैट मींस टीना इज टॉप फिट शी ईट्स ओके हेल्दी फूड्स एंड देन शी डू स्पोर्ट एक्टिविटी उन फेट ये दिन टाग रात एंड देन शी आल्सो साइकिल एवरी डे अ एस ईस्ट आवर इट वाज पसियट बट इट इज बट इट इज समथिंग हैपेंस शाओ दस बिल्ड ऑन लुक एट द पिक्चर या वाज इज पसियट व्हाट हैपेंस देन वी गो टू द पिक्चर या देन हियर Mensch, Tina, was hast du gemacht? Then, da, ja, ich bin vom Fahrrad gestürzt. Ich habe mir am rechten Arm wehgetan. Okay, so she is saying like this, yeah. Then, so that means uh, she is saying, Mensch, means is a kind of expression, yeah, like oh God, yeah, or like man. So Tina, was hast du gemacht? So Tina, what you what you have done? Then she is saying. Tia, so tia is like tia. Tia is a expression that shows oh, so some sadness. Yeah. Then ish bin from rat kesh toots. Okay, that means I have uh, fallen from the or like I have hurted from the farad. Farad is a bicycle. Then ish haba mir am resten am vegetan. That means I am having or I'm I have hurted my right hand. Yeah, or right arm. We can say. Okay, so the next one. Okay, so next one is uh, again. Uh, so it's a hearing. So was Excel Tina Hyotsu. Okay, so we have to listen. What is what she is explaining? Lektion drei. Okay, so yeah. Modul fünf. Lektion drei. Was hast du für deine Gesundheit getan? Was erzählt Tina? Mensch, Tina, was hast du gemacht? Tja, ich bin vom Fahrrad gestürzt. Ich bin gestern von der Schule zurückgekommen. Das Wetter war so schön und ich wollte eine Radtour machen. Ich habe mein Fahrrad aus dem Keller geholt. Ich bin aufgestiegen und losgefahren. Plötzlich ist ein Fußgänger mitten auf dem Radweg stehen geblieben. Ich habe ihn zu spät gesehen und konnte nicht mehr bremsen. Tja, wir sind also zusammengestoßen. Ich bin gestürzt und habe mir so am rechten Arm wehgetan. So ein Pech. Und im anderen ist nichts passiert. Okay, so we are doing this knock and mark. Modul 5, Lektion 3. Was hast du für deine Gesundheit getan? Was erzählt Tina? Okay, so basically uh, what Tina is saying, it's written here, yeah, in these four sentences. Okay, so uh, we can also do this one. Welches Bild passt zu welchem Text, yeah? So just, uh, just listen and then go through the sentences, okay? Mensch, Tina, was hast du gemacht? Tja, ich bin vom Fahrrad gestürzt. Ich bin gestern von der Schule zurückgekommen. Das Wetter war so schön und ich wollte eine Radtour machen. Ich habe mein Fahrrad aus dem Keller geholt. Ich bin aufgestiegen und losgefahren. Plötzlich ist ein Fußgänger mitten auf dem Radweg stehen geblieben. Ich habe ihn zu spät gesehen und konnte nicht mehr bremsen. Tja, wir sind also zusammengestoßen. Ich bin gestürzt und habe mir so am rechten Arm wehgetan. So ein Pech. Und im anderen ist nichts passiert. Okay, so. So she is saying, okay, the conversation starts with here. Yeah. So like, Mensch, Tina, was hast du gemacht? Yeah. Then she is saying, Tja, ich bin vom Fahrrad gestürzt. Okay. Then, so, Mensch, so man, Tina, what you have done? So Tina is saying, okay, Tja, so I, I am, uh, I am injured from bicycle yeah then ich habe mir am rechten arm wehgetan okay i have hurted my uh, rest, uh, right arm yeah then she says uh, ich bin gestern ich bin gestern von der schule zurückgekommen yesterday so i come back from the return from the school das wetter war so schön okay the, the weather was very beautiful und ich wollte ein radtour machen I, i want to do a rad tour ich habe mein fahrrad aus dem kellner Hold. So I have just uh, hold my that means bring my bicycle from the garage. Yeah, ich bin a garage is a, like the place where she kept his by bi her bicycle. Then ich bin aufgestiegen und losgefahren. I ride on the bicycle. Aufsteigen is a uh, ride on the bicycle und losgefahren and then uh, move on. Then plötzlich ist ein Fußgänger mitten auf dem Radweg stehen 
gave leave in. So suddenly a pedestrian, Fusgengar is a pedestrian, mitten of the Radweg stand. Okay, so he is standing middle of the Radweg. Radweg is like the way only for the bicycle. bicycle. Okay, so stand gave leave in. He was standing on the uh, on the bicycle track. Then ish haba in sushpet kizen. So I have seen him. Okay, in is a him. Okay, Shushpet Kizen. Shushpet is a, like I have seen him very late. Unkonta, Unkonta Nisht Mayor Bremshan. And I could not take a break, okay, anymore. Then Tia, we are in also Suzaman Gestosen. So Tia, so Tia is the expression to to show the sadness, yeah, or like uh, unfortunate. So we are in Suzaman Gestosen. So we have, okay, collided uh, together, yeah. So, and then. Uh, ich bin gestutz, I have injured und habe mir so am rechten Arm wehgetan and I have also uh, injured my right, okay, I have also hurt my uh, right hand, right arm. So ein Peck, what a bad luck. Und then, anderen ist nichts passiert and the others has happens nothing. So he has happens nothing. So, in this way and then what we have to do in this number 5, Welcher build past to Welsham text. Yeah, so which will which picture suits to which text okay so uh, we can do like this the first text goes to picture C okay like ish bin gestern from Shula okay so Rukge comment so this she this C one and then ish haba number two ish haba mein father I was in Kenner Gehold so this one is a uh, number A and then number three so plot list ish and first gengar mitten of them rat veg stain gave living it's a D it's a day and then number four, Tia we are in Suzaman Gestosen, so it's a number B. Okay. So in this way we have done till number five and then number six. Was ist passiert? Okay. Or not so. So what happens? Okay, arrange it. So we have to arrange the uh, okay, the sentences. Okay, so number eins. Tina is von der Schule. Okay, so it's also based on that text, the last text, yeah. So, Stina is from the Shula Tsuru Gekomen, yeah, the C1, yeah. So, number one is C. Then, Z hat das Farad aus dem Kenner, then Gehold E, yeah. Then, Z is auf der, auf das Farad, then, uh, auf gestiegen, okay. So, she ride on the bicycle, then, is Z mit dem Farad. Then los gefahren, yeah. So los gefahren. Then number five, Z had einen Fußgänger nicht gesehen, yeah. De. Then Z, okay. Z ist mit dem Fußgänger Fußgänger zusammen gestoßen, okay. Yeah. So zusammen gestoßen. Then uh, Z ist, okay. So number seven, so Z ist gestoßt. Then Z hat sich am Next in arm, vegetan, yeah, so okay, vegetan, yeah, this one, and then dann dem Fußgänger ist aber nichts passiert. So, where is this? Yeah, so gay one, okay. So, in this way, so number one is a C, number two is a E, okay. So, then number three is a H, H, number four is a F, number five is D, number six is B. And then number seven is A, number uh, eight is I, and number nine is G. Yeah. Then move to the next one. At sale was passiert. Okay. Then now you have to explain it. What happens, and how we will do it? So in this way. Yeah. So Tina is von der Schule zurückgekommen. Gestern ist Tina von der Schule zurückgekommen. Okay. So we have to explain like this. So Tina is from their Shula Suruge comment. So gestern is Tina from their Shula Suruge comment. Dan. So Dan is that means after that. And then close this suddenly. Yeah. So just you have to explain in this way. Yeah. So instead of ish, you can use Tina. So and then this gestern, the sight and gaben. Yeah. Sight and gaben that means the word that shows the timings. Yeah. Or like a duration. Okay. Some kind of time frame. So you will, you have to use these things. Uh, at the first position, so like gestern, okay, and then the same way here. So at, at students gestern, then verb. So like gestern ist Tina von der Schule zurückgekommen. Okay, 
Und wie geht's? Dann. Okay, okay. Zusammen. Äh, dann. Das Wetter war so schön und. Und. Tina. Tina. Und wie geht's? Sie. Okay. So sie wollte. Okay. So sie wollte eine Radtour machen. Okay. Dann. Ich habe mein Fahrrad aus dem Keller geholt. So, wie geht's hier? Dann hat sie sein Fahrrad. So, not mein Fahrrad, sein Fahrrad. Ja, so, sorry, ihr Fahrrad. Okay, so, for sie ist ihr. Ja, so, her, her bicycle. So, ihr Fahrrad aus dem Kennel geholt. Okay, dann ist sie, okay, dann ist sie aufgestiegen und losgefahren. So, in this way, you have to write down the sentences or like, you have to explain it. Okay, then next one is number eight. So, it's all about perfect form of the verb. Yeah, so, Perfect form. First, gehört zusammen. You can easily find it out. Yeah. Basically, it's very similar. And then here, grammatic, infinitive, and perfect. So this is the infinitive form of the verb, or we can also say the basic form of the verb. And this one is a perfect form of the verb. So like mark, like here it's given. One example is given here. So gehen, then ist gegangen, then machen, then where we will find out. So here, hat gemacht. Yeah. So in this same way. Yeah. So, machen, then hat gemacht, sehen, okay, so we can say hat gesehen, yeah, last one, yeah, then we tun, so we can say hat we getan, then helfen, so helfen is a hat geholfen, then bleiben, so bleiben is a here, yeah, second last, ist geblieben, then gehen, yeah, ist gegangen, then Fahren, fahren is a, yeah, ist gefahren, then stürzen, stürzen is a, uh, here, uh, ist gestürzt, then holen, so holen is, hat geholt, then passieren, passieren is, ist passiert, then aufsteigen is, aufgestiegen, yeah, so, ist aufgestiegen, then zurückkommen is, yeah, ist zurückgekommen. Okay, so basically you can remember these things. Uh, fahren, then kommen, bleiben. Yeah, it's given here also. They are also is having ist. Yeah, machen and holen are having hat. Yeah, so like machen, so hat gemacht. Holen, hat geholt. Fahren, ist gefahren. Then bleiben, ist geblieben. Then zurückkommen, ist zurückgekommen. Or the passieren, then ist passiert. Okay. So, in this way, to try to memorize these things, yeah, and then to practice for perfect form of the verb, you can do Arbeits Buch Seite 28, 29, Jubungen 1, 2, 3 und 4, yeah, and then the next one is number 9. Ein Besuch, was hat Tina gestern gemacht? So, ein Besuch is a visit, so that means a visit. Okay, so besuchen is a verb also and besuch is a noun. So a visit, that means uh, a visit. Was hat Tina gestern gemacht? So what Tina has done yesterday. Okay, then er ergänze sein oder haben in den richtigen Formen. So just we have to fill up here sein and haben. So these are the two helping verb which we use in a perfect form of the sentence. So ergänze sein oder haben in the richtigen Formen. Okay, so in the correct form. That means what I have said, the verb, okay, so these are the helping verbs which conjugate, okay, okay, according to subject. So that's why we are having, we have to write here the correct form of these verbs, yeah, and the perfect form of the verb which comes always at the end is always in the same form, yeah, so like the in the perfect form, only the verb which comes at second position, like means sein or haben, it conjugates according to subject, okay, so here, so how we will do it? So first we can just focus about the, just think about the verb, so gefahren. So what is the helping verb of fahren is ist. So ist gefahren. So we can take the help of this number 8. Yeah. Or you can also go to page number. Okay. In your book, uh, you are having that. Okay. In your book, you will go to page number 43 and there you will find the list of perfect form of the verbs. Yeah. So you can also easily find out over there. So here. So gestern, then verb is fahren, okay, and Tina, Tina is a subject. So Tina, for the Tina is always ist. 
so gestern ist tina und stefan okay sorry so tina und stefan so there are two person then we have to use sind okay so plural of ist is sind so gestern sind tina und stefan nach münchen gefahren then z so z is here for they okay so z haben ihre große eltern gross eltern besucht okay so they have visited uh, their grandparents suest suest means at first haben z zu mittag gegessen so they have uh, they have okay uh, they have lunch so they had lunch mittag gegessen is a lunch then dann after that so dann tina so is a ist because it's a singular so ist dann tin ist tina mit der oma zum kaufhaus gegangen oma hat tina eine tasche gekauft then tina hat sich sehr gefreut so that means so then tina and her uh, that tina is went to shopping or uh, yeah for the or went to uh, that cough house shopping mall yeah shopping complex with her uh, grandmother and grandmother has has uh, bought a tasha a bag yeah for her and tina had this zero grateful tina become very happy then um 16 uhr sind sie yeah so um 16 uhr sind sie zurückgekommen so at 4 o'clock they uh, return then und haben zusammen kaffee getrunken and they are having uh, they had coffee together so zusammen is together danach after that yeah so tina so then again singular and then verb is fenzen so hat so danach hat tina mit opa schach gespielt und stefan hat fan gesehen yeah so hat spielen so hat gespielt and then hat fan gesehen so hat and then hat because both are singular subjects yeah so that means tina has played chess with his uh, opa grandfather und stefan hat fan gesehen and stefan has watched television z is okay so then z okay z sind okay because basically z sind bis accent word da geblieben yeah so that means they they stay there till 18 o'clock that means 6 o'clock in the evening und am ende uh, and at the end uh, sind sie mit dem zug zurückgefahren and and finally they return with train by train okay then so in this way you can use the helping verb so sein and haben in the correct form okay so klar next uh, number 10 was hast du gestern gemacht schreib ins heft so you have to write down in your notebook what you have done yesterday okay so with the help of these side angaben that means like gestern zuerst dann danach und zum schluss oder am ende so gestern is started zuerst is at first dann is then danach after that und zum schluss that means and at for finally or like at the end or am ende at the end so what i suggest you so just do one thing uh, write down all the perfect verb okay in a perfect form yeah so like aufstehen then in the school again so gegen is gegangen aufstehen is aufgestanden house of gaben machen so hat gemacht so okay then freunde treffen okay hat getroffen then uh, frühstücken hat frühstückt sport treiben okay uh, sport getrieben so hat sport getrieben then uh, buch lesen okay so hat buch gelesen buch gelesen then uh, fan gesehen fan sehen fan gesehen okay so hat fan gesehen then friend or friend in angerufen so hat angerufen yeah so in this way okay music hören so hat gehört und dann eingeschlafen so hat eingeschlafen okay so you have to do this one and then for the practice of such exercise you can go to albaits book seite 30 31 übung in 5 und 6 yeah then next one is number 11 yeah so her vigal heart up genomen up genomen is to lose weight yeah so in the last chapter we have uh, discussed zu genomen and this is the opposite of that zu genomen is a up genomen so up genomen is a lose weight yeah so he has lost some weight so her vigal yeah then 
we will read this one yep so here weigel hat here weigel hat in a schlank height course game marked so here mr weigel has visited a slimming course yeah and air hat uh, 10 kilo uber geno up genomen so he has lost 10 kilo weight air hat here in tag in a half stunde gymnastic game marked he has done a half half hour, half an hour uh, gymnastic is a we can say aerobics it's not basically aerobics it's a gymnastic is a like uh, doing some exercise uh, some fruits took heart air nur obst gegessen oder einen or uh, oder einen saft getrunken so some fruits took that means during the breakfast he is having only uh, fruits and a juice er hat nicht mehr geraucht und nur ab und zu kaffee getrunken so he he had not drunk more okay he had not smoked anymore and ab und zu so now and then he is having some okay drink coffee so he just drink coffee now and then then in their bank hat er weniger gearbeitet and in also in the bank he work less das heißt that means Air had kinda of student that means he don't had any uh, overtime. Mere game out, so no more overtime. Yeah, he has done. Yet fueled air this better, so now he feels okay better. The mewer heart this loaned. Okay, so the mewer heart this loaned. That means uh, hard work always pays. Okay, Zach here to freedom. So he says these things uh, very sat with satisfaction. Yeah, so Zach here to freedom. Yeah, so with satisfaction. Yeah. So this is the uh, text, yeah. And then what we have to do? So we have to answer this question. So we feel kilos heart here weigel up genomen. So yeah, it's in your same kilo. In the complete sentence, we can say here weigel heart same kilos up genomen. Okay. Then heart air sport get driven. Then we can say ya air heart sport get driven. Then one uh, sorry was heart air some fruit to get gesen between twice get drunken. So we can say. Air hat, air hat nur obst gegessen und oder einen saft getrunken. Then was hat er nicht mehr gemacht? So what he has not done anymore. So we can say uh, air hat nicht mehr geraucht und nur ab und zu Kaffee getrunken. Then hat er immer noch viel gearbeitet? So we we'll say nein. Okay, so nein. In their bank hat er weniger gearbeitet okay that's it also or we can say also so that size air hat keiner you should in mehr gemacht then ist er jetzt zufrieden so is is he now okay satisfied then ja er ist zufrieden that's it okay then number 13 wann war das so when was that least the beispiele then read the example okay so like heute so today gestern so it's a 19 sorry 19 is a today so then 18 is a gestern so yesterday for gestern is a day before yesterday letzte woche is the last week for same tagen so before 10 days yeah so yeah, today is 19 and then before 10 days it's a 9 and then here let's 10 monat so today is 19 okay so 19 august so 19 19 10 juli yeah so let's 10 monat and then here let's test yeah so it's a about 2016 to so 2016 and then it's about 2015 yeah so so let's test here okay then here number number fiat sin uh one had tina this way get on so when has tina uh okay hurt yeah or like one had tina this way get on for dry tagging okay so yeah z had this for dry tagging way get on so we have to answer in yeah and in the same form yeah so a benzo similarly you have to form the question and then write the answer yeah so like nach München fahren so what we will do here we have to form the question in the same pattern like one so always the question start with one so like one is okay so how we know that the ist because we have to change all the verbs in the perfect form yeah like here we get done so fahren then gefahren besuchen then besucht gehen then gegangen and also remember the try to remember the helping verbs so for the foreign is a ist 
okay so for now you can just take the help of page number 40 from the 43 or uh, the exercise number 8 so just and and you have to finally you have to memorize it yeah so you, you can write down the sentences like this so van ist tina nach München gefahren question mark and then gestern here again question mark yeah then we will write the answer ja sie ist okay sie ist gestern nach München gefahren yeah so for the right angle then here we have placed the for the right angle in the same way we will place the gestern okay once again okay one more example so wann then the verb is besuchen so hat so wann hat Tina die Oma besucht question mark and then gestern question mark then we will write the answer ja T ja sie hat die ja sie hat gestern die Oma besucht okay so in the same way we have to form the question and then sentences okay the last one also okay we can say van okay then verb is through comment so ist so van ist tina from urlaub through ge common so when tina has returned from the vacation let's ten more not okay question mark and then here also question mark then the answer will be ja sie ist let's ten more not form urlaub through ge common okay so we have to form the sentences in this way only then next one is number 15 yeah, so fimsen so van is tina beim ast gewesen okay so it's also about the perfect form and here we will uh, learn the perfect form of the verb haben and sein okay so the verb haben has hat gehabt and verb sein has the perfect form ist gewesen yeah so always remember this one this one is a very important yeah so haben has hat gehabt sein has ist gewesen okay so the sentence are tina hat gestern pick gehabt so pick is a bad luck yeah so tina uh, had that's okay yesterday tina had a uh, bad luck then then z ist dann beim ast gewesen so then so then so then she goes to or she went to doctor okay so, or she is be at she is at doctor okay we can say so here the sentence is one is tina beim ast gewesen so we can say von, uh, one to when was tina at the doctor okay so beim ast that means at the doctor or by the doctor we can say but here at the doctor so one is tina beim ast gewesen so when was tina at the doctor so the question is one one is tina beim ast gewesen for the right again then ja z is for the right again beim ast gewesen okay so somehow we have to follow the uh, same pattern okay as we have done in number 14 okay so thus even so that means similarly we have we have to do this one also yeah so in München, so we can say uh one is tina in München. so one is tina in München. gestern then ja z is gestern in München. Okay, that one more example. Wann ist Tina bei der o Oma? Okay, so like wann ist Tina bei der Oma? Yeah, so in the same way we have to form the question. Question mark and then vorgestern. Again question mark. Then answer will be Ja, sie ist vorgestern bei der Oma. Okay, then one more example. Uh, then uh, wann, then the verb is Bauch. Schmerzen. So here we will have to write hat. So one hat Tina Bauk Schmerzen for same tagen. Okay, question mark. Then ja sie hat for same tagen Bauk Schmerzen. Okay. Then we will do the last one. Spaß. Then let's test here. So we will write the question like this. One hat Tina Spaß. Okay. Let's test here then question mark then okay one hat tina spas gehabt yeah so let's test here then ja sie hat let's test let's test here spas gehabt okay so and also here for the first one one 
ist Tina in München gewesen. Ja? So when we use ist, then we have to use gewesen. When we use hat, we have to use gehabt. Okay? So then we move to the next one. Number 16. So was, was hast du gemacht? Fragt und antwortet. Ja? So in the same way you have to ask and then reply. Ja? So like gestern für die Schule lernen. Ja? For drei Tagen, letzten Monat, for gestern, letzte Woche, letztes Jahr. Yeah, so the question is like, was hast du gestern gemacht? So gestern habe ich für die Schule gelernt. Okay, so was hast du vor drei Tagen gemacht? Okay, so we can say, vor drei Tagen uh, habe, also bin ich meine Großeltern besucht. Okay, so hat, so habe ich, so vor drei Tagen habe ich meine Großeltern besucht. Okay, so was hast du letzten Monat? So we can say, letzten Monat bin ich nach Paris gefahren. Okay, so just think about it, the verb conjugations and then the perfect form of the verb, yeah? And then to practice such kind of exercise, you can do Arbeitsbuch, Seite 31, Übungen 7, 8 und 9. Yeah, and for the interview, we will do it in the next video, yeah? So, Till now, so till then, okay, auf Wiedersehen.